former NFL player and the first African-American head coach to win a Super Bowl, Tony Dungy is most known for using his words and passion to inspire and motivate jerseys on Sundays. But now in his NFL retirement, he was using them to touch a younger generation. It really was fun and part of the reason we got into it when I was coaching, Lauren uh, headed up the wives group and they used to go around and read at elementary schools and she said that they really found it hard to find material that was fun but also had a good message. Dungy, along with his wife Lauren, a former school teacher, decided to share their passion for reading and getting books with a message into the hands of children. We well, really thought that the message of friendship and inclusion, accepting people regardless of what they look like or regardless of the limitation was one that needed to be told and we thought uh, we had a great way of explaining it in a children's book. So it's kind of a fun and inspirational story at the same Time. The parents of seven, including Eric, a redshirt freshman wide receiver for the Ducks, the Dungy said the story was taken from personal experiences and inspired by one of the Dungy children who has some physical limitations. The stories about our kids <laughs> and a new neighbor moves into the area and this little girl has the limitation she's in a wheelchair. So Jade, the main character, befriends her, but she's got a decision to make and that is um, if she's going to include her in her birthday party plans, then she's probably going to have to change the plans to accommodate her. So she learns a true lesson about friendship and inclusion. The beautiful story about how having limitations doesn't have to limit the boundaries of friendship and how supporting and empowering children while helping to guide them in making the right decisions. And the older brother in this story, Eric, uh, actually helps them through some of the problems and he just happens to be in a lot of green and yellow and we didn't uh, <laughs> necessarily put him at the University of Oregon. But and when it was time for the Florida native to make the tough decision on where to play football, Eric chose Oregon for perhaps reasons similar to our character Jade. Judging someone on who they are, he felt Coach Kelly recruited him based on Eric, not because of who his father is. The Dungies are more than pleased with the growth they have seen in their son. We're excited for him. He has uh, done some good things. He always had good hands and was able to catch the ball, and we felt like that would be a strong suit. But he also understands the game, and in Coach Kelly's offense, that's so much of it, knowing what to do and being able to make quick decisions. Uh, so hopefully he continues to grow, but we're proud of him. And you want him to do well, and uh, but it's not like you're out there coaching. So it, it's been fun, it, it's been great. We have really um, embraced being part of the Duck family. And that love for the Ducks is starting to spill over onto the pages. The inspiration behind the next book for the Dungies, they say, is inspired by an incident that occurred at a certain football stadium. It was when one of their children decided to not listen to their parents and ended up getting lost. The Dungies say with seven children, they have plenty of material to fill eight books.